the water will rise in our land and be covered. For the possibility of having to move, it's our home and we don't want to move from here. This is the COVID-19 or COVID-19. It affects not only me, me and all the world in general, because many things are paralyzed. It started with 21 days for the lockdown, but the 21 days were aumenting. I was in casa, I don't know, more than four months. It was a challenge. I was in the house without knowing if we would return to Africa. It was a great challenge. Je suis rentrée en contact avec l'OIM parce que je veux entreprendre, je veux devenir un entrepreneur, apprendre des métiers, savoir faire quelque chose. Au début, nous avons fait des cours théoriques. Et après, on, avait, on est rentré dans les coups pratiques. Non seulement recevons un bénéfice économique, donnons une meilleure qualité de vie, c'est le plus gratifiant que nous avons reçu réellement. Cette communauté a aidé les gens à acquérir des skills pour qu'ils puissent être self-reliant. There's some that learn how to weave. Now I have a friend, he's sewing cloth for us. He, indeed, this cloth too, he's the one that sewed and he learned the thread from here. As a migrant, you want to live in a place that makes you comfortable and gives you the freedom to live. Since its establishment, IOM has evolved into the leading international organization dedicated to promoting safe, orderly, and regular migration, assisting those most vulnerable, and harnessing the potential of human mobility. IOM's work covers fields such as return and reintegration, labor migration, climate change, migration health, border management, data and research, crisis response, and migration policy. The organization supports its member states to respond to the needs of migrants and improve migration governance amid conflict, political upheaval, natural disasters, and economic crises. In 2016, IOM joined the United Nations as a related agency, providing migrants with a much needed voice on the global stage. IOM is there to guarantee the safety, well-being and dignity of people on the move, advocating for their human rights to be respected at all times. As nations develop new strategies to manage migration, IOM's dedicated staff are providing pragmatic policy recommendations and operational support for emergency and non-emergency situations in more than 100 countries. As IOM marks seven decades of service, a particular focus of his work is to mitigate the socio-economic impacts of COVID-19 and harness the energy and entrepreneurial spirit of migrants to reimagine human mobility. Looking into the future, IOM is committed to the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and to achieving the objectives set by the Global Compact for Migration to reduce inequalities and ensure that no one is left behind. Lots of people in my school were Syrian and knew how to speak Arabic, so they came to me and were like, here, I'll show you around and everything. I had lots of, lots of friends, because when I first came to Canada, I'm like, I'm different. Now I fit in. <laughs> <laughs>